disrespecting duck. You celebrate killing broke, got their ass locked up. The difference between them and us, my niggas would have kept their mouth shut. Kill, 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 your boy Omega. We back here with another one. Y'all know what it is. Bossy YouTube, we run these streets. Let's get it. Yo, let me tell you something, man. Little J has gone crazy on that track. And it's only 24 hours in, and he's almost got a million. That's not bad. Let me tell you something, man. I don't even know where to start, but he went crazy on that track. I don't know if y'all heard it yet. And if you hear it, you definitely got to hear it more than once and listen to the lyrics because he's saying so much. He's addressing everything. He's addressing the ops. He's dissing the ops. He's addressing his personal situation. Like he said everything he had to say in just that one song, right? So I don't know if I'm agreeing with all the this and the dead because y'all know I don't really like that, right? I'm about to just, you know, I'm about where you could just get your shit off Say what you gotta say and just come with the hard music. Y'all know I'm about that. But he this Vaughn, he said, you know every time I'm smoking, I'm smoking on Vaughn. He said, I'm not gonna get left at the store like T-Roy. He said something about get beat like Little Reese. Um, yeah, so he this Little Reese too. Let me see what else. Oh, he said you can get clubbed like D-Thing. You ass will get clubbed like left in the club, you know what I mean? So he D thing, um, who else? Oh, yeah, E Day. He said, you know what I'm saying? Smoking on E Day. Man, let me, he went crazy. What else he said? He spoke on, um, he said, we're the KI, you know what I'm saying? I won't lie. So, you know, he's bringing up his dead friends, KI. He brought up, um, Little B, you know what I'm saying? He's the reason why I took whatever, whatever, his gun. So he spoke on Little B. He said, um, Brick. He mentioned Brick. You know what I'm saying? Um, he said, I won't lie on Duck. That paperwork is real. Niggas did snitch on me. And he said something else, too. He said, those that were celebrating on Duck on social media snitched on themselves. The difference between me and them. He's talking about Old Block. You know what I'm saying? How they celebrated snitching. Um, not snitching on me. How they celebrated killing Duck on social media and basically told on themselves self you know whatever whatever he said the difference between me and them is that you know what i'm saying and then you could hear the background where it says snitching or snitch or whatever whatever right what else um one thing that he said that he addressed that is i think is the most important thing out of the whole song and y'all already know i'm going in with this because i think a little different right so he did say if you wasn't with me when i was locked up you know what I'm saying? Keep your social distance. Man, and he spoke about that during the interview. He also addressed the gay um, rumors or whatever, whatever. He said that Butter started that. But back to the social distancing and him saying, if you wasn't with me while I was locked up, keep your social distance, right? He spoke on it, man. He said, I'm not that nice guy no more. You know what I'm saying? That good-hearted kid or whatever, whatever. They got... You know what I'm saying? It did everything for my guys. I'm dolo. I'm not messing with the gang because when I was in there, nobody looked out for me. My people was left me for dead. The only people that was there for me was family. And that's just how it be. He said he wasn't too surprised, but at the end of the day, it hurts. And I can relate to that, man, because I've been locked up. And, man, listen here, like my right-hand man, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, not my blood brother, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, people that I expected to be there for me wasn't there, man. You know what I mean? And when I came home from doing a stretch, they ran up on me, like, trying to give me dap, and I left them hanging because I know that pain, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you expect it for certain people. If it's someone you don't expect it from, it doesn't hurt. But when it's somebody you really expect to be there, and they kind of show you a side of them that you didn't think was possible, you know what I'm saying? Just like he said, it hurt him that he found out thousand butter toes on him because he didn't think he would ever do that. I was his little man, right? So it hurts, man, you know what I'm saying? And that's just for everybody that's running the streets, all my youngins. Think about it, man, because when you locked up, none of your partners is running around with you. It's going to be the ones to write you, send you no letters, um, money, none of that. You know what I mean? They're only good to be in the streets with, and they're only good if they go in jail to ride with you and bang on dudes or whatever the case may be. But are they going to be the ones to send you money? You know what I'm saying? Look out for you. Half of the time, those be the ones that you don't hear from, and sometimes those be the ones that... You know what I'm saying? Be trying to get with your girl or your baby mom, whatever the case may be. 
but that's just how it goes man the game the streets don't love you there's only a few good ones and keep those man bossy youtube I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment. Let's get it. Mega Drip exclusive.